Welcome to Mass with Bob. Today we're looking at further constructions. Uh, this is an interesting one called parallel lines. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do, we get a ruler. Okay, and let's actually start with a nice easy one. Okay, so let's actually just uh, draw a line. Now, okay, so we need to construct a line parallel to this line. Okay, uh, we would normally, it's normally through another point, so some external point, say, uh, let's put the external point here, like A. Okay, so we need to construct a line parallel to that original line. We could call that L if you wanted to, line L. We want one through uh, that point A parallel to L. Okay, so how would we do it? Well, the first thing uh, you have to do is you have to put this uh, transversal through A. Okay, uh, now it can be any angle you like. Um, let's just change the angle, it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, so let's... Uh, adjust the angle a bit more. So, just as long as it's reasonably, you know, an acute angle, because we need to copy the angle. Okay, so I'll just show you. First idea is, okay, uh, let's change this. So, let's put the transversal in. Here, here's a red transversal. So, the red transversal goes through a cutting line L at an acute angle. Okay, now we now need to copy this angle. Now, how do we copy an angle? Well, we need a compass. Okay, so we need to look at our, get our compass. We need to basically the easiest way I found is to just uh, draw okay uh, an arc at any radius okay obviously less than the distance to A so um, let's actually mark that point there B okay so put our compass where the transversal here this is the transversal transversal goes through A and hits the line L at B put compass in at B okay now. Okay, so we need to put the compass in at B and draw an arc of any radius. So we can move the, the compass to any radius we like. Uh, let's actually change the color as well. Uh, okay, so here we are, purple. So we just do, uh, okay, so it doesn't, I'll just, uh, okay, so just do the arc now. Okay, I just adjusted the radius width there for a second, but it doesn't matter what radius width it is. Okay, we now have an arc. Now, okay, we're going to need to do an arc as well at the point A. So we uh, we do the same arc, so we put a compass in at A now. Uh, now I'm going to flip my compass around, and I need to do an arc. Now you can hear starting above A and coming down, because I'm going to need to, and it's also got to cross the transversal. See how it's crossed the transversal there? I can keep going up higher if I want to, but that arc has to cross the transversal. So, okay, so let's actually mark these points. So the first arc cut the transversal, say, at point uh, A, B, C. The second one, cut it at, say, D. Okay, now what do we do now? Well, we now have to use our compass like a divider. So we need to sort of uh, put our compass in and just open it up to the width of this angle. Okay, so, so we stick it in here now. You can see, let's actually mark that point uh, D, E. So let's put our compass in at E, and we're trying to work out how wide it is. So we're going to measure it to... Um, uh, okay, not quite, see, to that point there, C. Okay, so I, I need to just open it a little bit more. Okay, let's open it a bit more. Okay, so now we have our, well, the width, I guess, of the particular angle. I need to mark this now on, starting at D, so I move my compass to D. Okay, uh, let's try and get it onto D, here it is. And I need to make a little arc here. Uh, crossing that point. And let's actually call that new point E. Okay, so here we are. Oh no, actually it's F. We've already got an E. Okay, let's point that F. Okay, now what are we going to draw? Draw. Well, we have to draw a line through A and F. Okay, um, now so we need to get our ruler out again. Uh, let's uh, bring it down and try and straighten it out a little bit. Okay. Okay, now if you do this reasonably accurately, you can see here, okay, um, now, okay, so you can see here that this is actually now parallel. That line AF, or line going through AF, is uh, parallel now to this one down here at L. So you can see that, okay, this is, this is a fairly uh, reasonable construction. Let's actually try and do the same thing uh, on an angle, okay, just, just to make sure it works. Let's actually now try and uh, do this, uh, well, for the, with the original line on some sort of angle. And you can see it's about 50 degrees. So let's actually draw our first line. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's call that, uh, say, line M. Okay. 
it's supposed to be line M. <laughs> Doesn't look like an M there, but this is supposed to be line M. Okay, so line M, we're now, now going to need to construct a line through, so we need to pick a, some sort of point. Uh, let's call it a, a over here. So through A, but parallel to M. Okay, so the first thing, again, is to draw a transversal through uh, A, cutting the line L. Now, obviously that's not going to do it, so um, let's actually... Um, change the angle of my ruler. Oops, having a bit of trouble changing the angle of my ruler at the moment. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, okay, here we are. So we need to, uh, uh, let's actually, um, let's actually do it down this way. I think it might be easier so we can do everything on the, okay, here we are. So look, let's actually draw it over here. Okay, now, fairly I can make that a bit more acute, but that's all right. Let's just, uh, just do it as it stands. So let's actually, now, okay, our transversals, I think, were red. So let's actually put our transversal through. Okay, here's our transversal through A. This is a okay, and it cuts M, say, at B. All right, so that's the first thing. I can get the transversal into some sort of uh, acute-ish angle. This is <laughs> not terribly acute, but... It still is. Okay, but so now we grab our compass. Okay, let's change. Uh, okay, now we need to draw some arcs now. So we open our compass up at any radius. Okay, here, let's just make up some radiuses. Uh, that's a nice radius. Okay, here we go. So we now put the compass point in B, and we're going to draw some arcs. Now, so we need to copy the acute angle. So we put the arc on the acute angle side. So let's just, here we go. There it is. Okay, so now... Um, a, B, I think we are going to call, let's call that point C. Okay. Now we move the compass point to A. Okay, now, here we go. Now, as you can see here, I have a little bit of the compass points, well, on A, and the pencil is up here. Let's actually start drawing. Okay, so this is the arc. Now, ah, okay, here we go. Uh, there we are. Now, it's right around. Now, you can see it's crossing, cutting the transversal. Okay. All right, so it's going to cut the transversal, let's see, at point D, right? But we have to measure this angle, uh, A, B, uh, actually, let's call A, B, C, D, actually, let's call that point E. So really, we want to try and measure, uh, if you like, A, B, E, or you can label it C, B, E, or D, B, E, but we want to try and uh, measure this angle. Now, this angle is, you can see here, how wide is it? Well, let's actually try and... Get the compass up the right way. Okay, so let's actually see how wide is it. Well, uh, we, we need to sort of open up the compass a bit and use it a bit like a pair of dividers of sorts, I guess you could say. Okay, so here we have, okay, yeah, let's just check. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so that's pretty close. Okay, so we now need to copy this angle onto that arc starting at D and going it was you know, originated uh, center A. So uh, let's actually now put it onto uh, the compass point now to D. Okay, change, I'll now flip this over. Now, okay, we now need to draw a little arc. Okay, so let's, here's, here's a little arc. Uh, now let's actually, um, I'll move the compass over here somewhere. Okay, so that new point, D, E, so let's call it F. Okay, now, AF should now be parallel to BE or the line M. So let's actually try and see, let's actually draw the ruler. Let me get the ruler, uh, bring it across, uh, oops, uh, ruler across, uh, try and, uh, I'll just try and adjust the angle. Okay, now, okay, so if I now draw a line now through A and F, uh, okay, here we go, and you can see that that is actually parallel to that line M. Uh, let's actually move it across now. Here is this line here. Okay, so you can see it's a fairly sophisticated little construction, uh, but uh, after you get the hang of it, it just takes a bit of practice. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and bye for now.